by the 2015 Taser World Champions, Chris Dance and Peter Hackett aboard Doppio, uh, sailing for the Blair Gowrie Yacht Squadron and the Blackrock Yacht Club. Congratulations, Thank boys. You. Thank you. Thanks, Nicole. Yeah. How does it feel? I mean, we're only in Cascade Locks about 16 months ago, and I suspect you probably walked away from that event feeling pretty hungry to do a bit better. And now you've come away at your second world championship with a win. Yeah. Uh, it's been an amazing change. Um, you know, we started the uh, Cascade, uh, campaign at Cascade Locks. We, we learned a lot and had a hard induction, and, uh, and I think we've come back with a vengeance for this one, so it's been great. Yeah, I mean, Cascade Lock was pretty demoralising, I think you could say, for, yeah. for a lot of us Australian teams. So it was, uh, yeah, pretty cool to get some redemption from those, uh, those American teams that sailed so well at that venue. So, yeah, yeah we were delighted. Yeah, well done. And Taser Victoria featured uh, fairly heavily, certainly in the top 20. Have you guys uh, banded together and done a, a heap of training leading up to this yeah, event? Yeah, I think that's been a lot of the reason for our success. It's a really tight-knit group in Victoria and, um, you know, and, and a lot of uh, new sailors jumping in as well that have really pushed us. And we did, did a number of regattas leading up. Um, we actually got a fair bit of experience in, uh, on uh, countback uh, decisions. So it was uh, yeah, very, very close racing. Uh, it's an amazing team back there in Victoria. Fantastic. And what can you tell us about the top five competitors here at uh, here at uh, Busselton? Uh, perhaps compared to the competitors that you were sailing around in Cascade Locks. I mean, it was such a hot fleet. I think we yep. will all agree with that. It perhaps could have gone to anyone in the top 20 overall. Yep. Yeah. But what was your experience in, in sailing around the boats that you were you were most prominently with, which would be the top five? Yeah. Well, I I, I think really uh, the the top deeper. the top five wasn't always there. It was um, yeah. you know everyone in the top five was carrying results right back in the fleet, and that just shows you the the depth of competition. And like you said, really, uh, there's probably 20 boats coming into this regatta that could have put it together. Um, so, and that's an amazing testament to the, the Taser fleet and the uh, experience that's in the fleet. Yeah. Now, we spoke to you boys a few days ago, you'll recall, uh, and I think we uh, asked whether or not Pete would uh, maybe jump back on the helm after this event. But, uh, Chris, are you permanently on the tiller now? I don't know. We don't plan very far ahead. And, in fact, for this regatta, we only planned a few months ahead. It was a last-minute decision in the car park at Black Rock Yacht Club where we decided, yeah, we'll sail the other way around and we'll give it a go. And uh, I bet you now we're uh, looking at each other smiling and think we made the right decision there. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And, and Pete, what do you like best about sailing for Chris? And what do you like least about sailing uh, for Chris? <laughs> <laughs> All the hard questions. Yeah. Oh, look, Chris has been fantastic. I mean, I think we're, um, it's really been a great thing that we've been able to swap and do each other's roles and we have a lot of understanding for what goes on at, at either end. And so, and we've got different strengths as well that, that and they, they complement each other. And so I think Chris has got some really good skills and, and I've been able to really learn from those. And, and hopefully Chris has also been able to draw from, from some of mine as well. So that's, that's certainly been the, the, the great thing. Um, but, but Chris is a very intense sailor as well, and, uh, and there, there are times when things aren't going well, and he lets you know when you stuff up as well, and you, you kind of uh, you know that, and, uh, and so that's yeah. That, but that intensity is healthy too. You need that tension to, to keep yourself on your toes. So, yeah. Yeah. so are you boys jumping back in the Sabre after this event, or what's your next? Uh, event? Yeah, look, I think there's a state championship coming up, and I'll uh, break the boat out, I think, and give that a go. Um, well, there's know. still a score to settle to see who is. That's the best right, concert, you know. You know? <laughs> we can't that's decide that on the Taser. Right. <laughs> that's how we decided the uh, who was going to helm the last World Championships. We we had a race in the Sabre and whoever won got the helm. So, uh, yeah, we might need to go and resettle that score or something. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And are we likely to see you in Japan in uh, 2017 to defend your question. title? Yeah, look, it's a long way away. Um, but I think after this result, I've my, my wife, will, I think, will be supportive of it. So there's a good chance that I'll be there. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And just before we, uh, we let you go and uh, celebrate with uh, a few drinks, I'm sure, uh, just a, a, a hot tip or a fast tip for, for everyone watching at home. Yeah, I, I think what pro you in the event? probably the most important tip uh, I'd say is uh, don't worry about your equipment. The Taser is a one design class. We didn't have any special battens or special old lightweight foils. Uh, we didn't turn up to the regatta early. We didn't spend big dollars. We just had standard equipment, pulled the sails up on the practice race and went. And I think that's the beauty about the, uh, the Taser is that you put in um, you know, you put in the effort in the sailing rather than in the equipment and the, and the dollars. And I'd, you know, I'd say get the simple things right. Um, it's sheet tension, your jib sheet, your main sheet and steering. You know, those, those three controls are so important to get right and, and concentrate on, on doing the basics well is, is really important.
We certainly did the basics well this week, uh, very well this week, guys. Congratulations again. A really consistent regatta, a very uh, very popular couple of winners. So congratulations from all, all your friends in the Taser community and enjoy the night. Appreciate okay, thank it. You, thank you, Thank you. Thanks, bye.